today's HubSpot hack, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a custom quote inside of HubSpot. Now, if you already have a custom quote template that you like, you're ready to get started. Otherwise, check out my other video where I designed the template I'm going to be using inside of this video. Now, when you're creating a quote, it's important to remember that quotes need to be associated to deals. So your options are you can either create a new deal to create a quote, or you can choose an existing deal. Either way, there's two ways that you can create quotes inside of HubSpot. And the first one is if you go to the main navigation here at the top and click sales, go down to quotes. You can actually see all of the quotes you've already created in the past and click create quote at the top right. This is where you can choose uh, an existing deal or create a new deal right from this view here. The other way that you can do it is if you go into your deal pipeline, you can choose the deal that you wanna create a quote for and on the right hand side, you have your contacts and companies associations like you're used to seeing. If you scroll down, you will find the quote um, area here where you can click to add a new quote. So the first thing we'll do is make you choose a template. So we have the one that I've already created in my other video. And then the quote name is always pulling from the deal name. So if you have some sort of internal naming system that may not be great for facing the customer, you can change that here. We'll call this um, our widgets quote for AFC Richmond. And you can edit the expiration date and add any comments you want to add to the buyer, um, add any other terms. This is actually a great opportunity to use the HubSpot snippets tool, where if you actually hit the pound key, you can actually preload some text um, that you might want to add into the quote. If you're not familiar with how to use HubSpot snippets, you can check out our other video here and learn about all about how to set those up and use those too. Well, let me get rid of the terms here. Uh, we'll go over to our next page where we're looking at the buyer information. So these are the contacts that are associated to the deal. So you see we have Ted Lasso with AFC Richmond. This is who our quote's going to go to and what's going to appear in the top banner here. And then the next information we have is who's going to be actually sending this quote out. So you can click on your name here if you need to edit your name or your title. You want to add a phone number, um, add in your company name and your company information. All this will appear in the quote here. So you want to make sure that this is accurate before you actually send it out. Clicking next, this is where you'll actually add the different products or services that you're offering to your client. If you're not familiar with how to set up products and set up HubSpot, check out our other video and you'll learn how to set that up um, in no time. Otherwise, you can choose to create a product from scratch here or you can choose to select from your product library. So I have our um, couple different products. We have our widgets and our widget subscription. So if I add them both, you're gonna see a little bit of a difference here. Um, one is just a one-time bill. They're only going to get billed one time for it. The other one is showing that it is a monthly fee. So you have options here when you're creating quotes. Like, yes, it can be um, subscription-based. Yes, it can be reoccurring or it can be one time. And you'll see down here in this totals area, it does show you what your recurring, what your recurring subtotal is and what the customer's one-time fee is going to be. You also do have an option to add other discounts here, other one-time discounts, one-time fees, or say you wanted to add tax, like New Jersey tax, where I'm located, and say that it's gonna be a percentage of that, of the quote. You also can build in discounts on a item by item basis. Up here at the top, you'll see a unit discount. Again, you can do this by dollar denomination if you wanna give them $10 off, or say you're running a promotion, it's just a flat 10% off. You can do that as well here in our line items. So we're happy with our, our line items. We're gonna click next to um, set up whether we want signatures, payments, or nothing to appear on this quote. So um, if you want to use it for e-signature, you can click that here and choose if you have multiple people on this quote, which one's gonna be required for signing it. And then if you're gonna have countersigners on it too, you can choose once they sign it, who on your team is gonna come back to you to review it and sign it and then so it's signed by both parties. Um, the other option is you can also, if you're using HubSpot payments or the Stripe integration, set this up to accept payments for you directly inside of HubSpot. If you don't want to do either, you just want to send this to the customers so they get an idea of what you're pricing. You can do nothing. Say you want no signature on this quote and then click next and get one last preview of what this is going to look like and publish the quote. So it does generate it as a web page. So you can copy the URL here. You can paste it in an email. I can throw this um, in an email. You can preview exactly here what it's going to look like. And if you or the customer do want to download it or print it out, that option is there for them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and like and stay tuned for more HubSpot hacks. Thanks.